Good morning. It is a Tuesday morning. And as you can guess by the house in the background, we are on James's. Lucky and Ant have made a fantastic job of this curve. But now the curve's been put in, it just doesn't look right. Too sharp, too perfect, I think. So James and Trish just want it to swoop a little bit. Let me show you. So the camera don't really do it justice. So what we did, we made it perfect. So we made a five mil gap in the blocks all the way around. And then did a few straights and then did the five mil gap on the opposite all the way around, which from there looks absolutely amazing but it just, it, it goes too sharp. Not what they uh, envisualised. Envisualised, is that a word? Not what they had in mind. So what I've done, I've put the streamline across and brought the curve in slightly and then back up to here. It was always four bays down and then start, and then four bays up and then start. So this is what we've got at the minute. We're just waiting for Trish, James's wife, the real boss, just like Berna, to give us the go ahead. And that's the, that's the kind of angle we're looking for. So I'll probably just come straight and then start turning very, very gradually. Very, very gradually until we basically go up there which it's a shame, I ain't actually told Lucky yet, but he's made a lovely, lovely job of the blocks. But it's not a problem, obviously all these blocks will be able to use because we're having break points. So we're gonna have a break point up here somewhere. Uh, I think we're having red resin at the top in a square. You'll get to see that guys. Uh, the break points across there. I mean, it would have been nice here because that would have been a nice break point for resin and that would have been nice. But it's got to look right. It has got to look right. So what we're doing first, James has been busy. So James has been made a lovely job. He's put the doorway in. So now we've got someone to work to. So we're having a step out here like that with these blocks. And then the blocks are going to come out through the drain and then back in again. So that'll be, get a bit more of a feature. We have got... The other timber to go on the wall because we have some nice gates here. We have some nice gates to the top. The reason why we left it open at the top and we haven't put the break point in as well is because we're going to get tarmac delivered and uh, dropped here. Bring the digger in. Well, I might get it dropped right at the top actually. Bring the digger in, load the digger, uh, load the dumper, and then basically tarmac work through. But our first job for me and Finn is Finn's setting the line up as well. So Finn's going to start building levels up while I put this step in. But the first job for me is get that step in. That is a step in there. It's 100 mil gravel trap. Finn's put the rain guard on there. That's stood on it. <laughs> Could have gone up in the face, mate, but it's on, you've done the right thing, mate. You've leaned it up, haven't you? That's it. Yeah, I was walking back. It's my fault, actually. So, yeah, now it's blocks at cross, then back in, like saying, so, and then we're continuing that gravel trap in nice black ice all the way around. Just like we have done on the front. And then we are having a nice porcelain slab on top. And I'll ask James if he wants me to ball nose the edges on. Which will look nice. We've done that before. What do you mean you've done that? 
What? Was it me and Jordan? Me and Jordan did that thing kind of job. All knows the the porcelain slab around the top. It looked oh, really nice. Jordan. Yeah, really nice. So yeah, let's get these blocks in. There we have it. It's got that little bit to do there, but we need another mix. So Finn's just gonna back them up, make sure they're all nice and tight. With a remainder in a mix, and they've got a shovel full. And then after the snap, we'll carry on and finish that bit off. It's gonna look good, that. Really good. Nice little bit of resin in this side. We're gonna have black ice in there. Nice little feature, that look really good. So that is the progress so far. You can see it's going round. Nice and gradual all the way up now. This will be done tomorrow. Stevie and Finn's been doing the stone. Just get the stone to a nice level. And then it won't roll in. I'm gonna bring the crusher tomorrow, I'll crush that, crush the bit. We've got over here a kitchen sink and that, and probably have to bring probably three or four ton in just to finish it off, get the blocks moved. And then we're nearly at a tarmac stage. But that is another day at a D and J. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Hope you've had a fine week this week. Obviously it's Sunday on the video, but hopefully you've had a fine week this week. Let us know down below in the comments, I'm going to be looking through the comments, uh, what was the most interesting thing you did this week? Let us know down below, and by the end of the week I'll tell you what the most interesting thing I did and what Dad did this week. Probably work. Big dog, he's up. Yeah. He's going to go sign in, yeah? Yeah. Sign in and then meet me around the back, yeah, because we're on delivery, yeah? That's Jackie boy who's just coming in, signing in. Uh, yeah, let us know what your most interesting thing was. Simba thinks he might have a flat tire, needs some air in his tyres, so let's have a little look. So, just a little down. Oh, look at this. Someone's been B&M, left the bag, trees fell down. Now it's a blockage, it's not ideal. Yes, delivery. A little bit chilly today as well, three degrees. Fingers are feeling it. Well, I've got my protein and my Actimel. Keep that immune system safe, guys. Probably a con, I don't know. But I do like them, apricot. But yeah, I've done checks on the vehicle already. I've just been letting the screen defrost. It weren't sort of defrost, it was more mist, but just wouldn't go anywhere. Guys, I've all loaded delivery, ready for me. I've checked it off, made sure I've got everything. That's the worst thing you can do, guys. Get your, get your van, go onto a deliverer, and realize you forgot something unprofessional and stuff like that for one but it's time it's time consuming having to come back and then pick it up and drop off again you may as well not do the first one right but a bit warmer in there yeah let's get to delivery so then guys we have done delivery but we're on job now it's a simple one customer wants a six before six before six before six before with panel gravel board clips uh, no trellis the panels are going to be above the post like they are now. I did say we can make them to the top of the post, but customers just wanted them to go up to the same height as they are now. So that's not a problem. I'm just going to get them all out and uh, crack on with it, guys. First one is in. We've put the clips on. See clips? Where's the other one? 
clip just there. We've done it, so it's um, six boards across, and then it's six boards in the middle. So six, 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 and then it's less likely to bow out. It's not touching gravel boards yet. Reason we don't do that is because we'll get them all in. Because these have old posts and they've got a bit of movement and they're not exactly all straight and plumb, get all your panels into as far as they can go down by themselves. And then once you've got them all in, tap them down sort of individually. So basically what I'm trying to say is if I tap this one down there, that post has got potential to move like that. And then I can't get this one in. Do you know what I mean? And then I can't get that one in. So get them all in where you can tap them down individually. That's what you've got to do if you're not changing the whole fence. But it's a simple job, so we're going to get them in with these magic fingers. There we go, guys. All in, all with clips on, all with timbers behind, so there's no rock. So that's always good. I did offer customer panels up to the post. Didn't go for that, didn't want that. I did offer the customer, uh, what do we call them again? Oh my God. I've gone blank. What do we call them again? Post extenders. Sorry about that. Yeah, I offered post extenders, but didn't want them. So this is the job, guys. Good morning. It's a fresh one, Finn, isn't it? Yeah. It's a fresh one. But it's not, it's not raining. It's not snowing. It's not hailing. It's just right. What we're we doing today, we are completing the curve bringing it in like we mentioned and hopefully I can get them all in today up to this point just down here Finn he's brought his crusher out there's a few more bits to crush James has uh, supplied us a few more bricks and what we're going to do we're going to crush them straight up and get them into the drive because Finn and Stevie yesterday started building finished sub base levels up so we like to have about 70 mil of tarmac and then obviously it's 20 mil of a resin on top of that but you wouldn't have thought any more stone would go in here so finn has got that there the kitchen sink we'll video that crushed everything on this job including the kitchen sink and it's got a little pile there and I believe Stevie's going to be joining us as well. He's got a bit of a sliding to do. And he's been on deliveries this morning. I'm hoping the thing we're doing curves freehand, you, you, you don't make it like a 50 pence piece. So the idea is, let me show you. Where I put the pins in, you, you try and hit the pin every time until you get on the straight. But I'm, I hope it looks nice and smooth, just like this one, because this one was done with a five mil gap on every single block. So it's a perfect, just hoping I can make the same effect on that by doing a freehand curve. And the reason why James wanted that is purely, so when he drives down with his car, it's a nice gradual sweep and not down and cut across and it gives a little bit more width on the drive so Finn's going to get his crusher off now he's set me up with blocks I've got a mix ready and we are ready to go so you guys can sit on the tripod over there and watch us graft away You can say hello, but it don't need you to like me Don't need you to like me, don't need you to like me You can watch me go, cause I don't need you to like me Don't need you to like me, don't need you to like me You can say hello, but it don't need you to like me Don't need you to like me, don't need you to like me You can watch me go, cause I don't need you to like me Don't need you to like me, don't need you to like me
So them blocks are out now. Now I've got my two lines set up to run into that. Yes, it will kick from that point. But I think that's where we can put a break point. Straight across, which will look pretty smart. I was just looking at that. I thought that was in the wrong place, but it's not. So yeah, last little section to do, finish crushing away. He's gonna crush these big lumps now. Recycle everything. And then what we'll do, we'll take that curve out. Save the blocks, because we have got to close this off. And the reason why we're not closing it off yet is because we're gonna order Tarmac and Tarmac's gonna deliver it for us. I think Lucky and Finn will stone this up, but we've got to get it cleared first. So really, there's only enough work for me and, me and Finn here at the minute. I was going to get Stevie out here, but it just don't make sense. So let's get that blocks in. Snap time because down there's flaking he says. So we are off lunch now. Just got that final little bit to do, and then it's level all this out, get to near enough, plug a bit tidy up, and then back to the yard. Is it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. Am I astray? What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? Hope you're not planning to waste my time To my surprise, that was her reply Now we your vibe It's been a while and such a ride, the stars align I love the fact I didn't let her go She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different world I love the fact I didn't let her go nearly left the job without doing a video and showing you what we've been doing so the curve is now in you can see where it was where it used to be we've crushed what we can on side there's a little tiny bit over there which finn's going to do tomorrow we'll look at uh built majority of levels up there's some deep bits over there but yeah we're getting there i think we're going to get some guitar back down either next week or the week after we do start another driveway as well but yeah it's going to be a big one it's vast we're having time like delivered here as well so we'll probably have it delivered where i'm standing get the little micro digger up here and fill barrows but with that said it's another day at d and j from me and finn we'll see you in the morning guys good morning and welcome to another day at D and J. Lucky sent me a photo. I'll have to have a look at that. Right, bit of a funny one today. We're doing a vehicle access, or if we can do a vehicle access, there. But this lovely tree here, is in the way. But the tree was here first. So what we have got to do? Let me show you. We've got to do a trial hole across there, like that, an inspection hole, to see if the tree roots from this tree run in to where we need to excavate the vehicle access before we get approval on the drop crossing. You've got to remember, the tree was here first. The tree is priority. So we are waiting for someone, an inspector, to come and basically inspect the trial hole as we dig it out. It's hand dig. It's a lovely, look at that, it looks like camouflage. I don't know what kind of tree it is. What? When they planted trees back in the day, I don't think they intended to get as big as this and start damaging. I mean, you can see the roots do go down there and you can't see any roots up this way and someone has already been through it probably before we started looking after trees but yeah we're just waiting for the inspector to come stevie's here with me he's going to go and get a drink for us and a sandwich and then we are going to crack on boy wonders here look 
I'd sweat on. All weathers. <laughs> <laughs> we have just dug this. It's 300, 300 mil? 300. 300 mil. We go down 200 mil. 100 mil of stone backfill, then 100 mil makeup of tarmac. They're roundabouts within the 20 mil. So I think this guy is so, so lucky. I mean, 20, the, the size of your little finger, that's what they say. That one there, it's 230, mm, 230, 230, 300. 300. Yeah, so he's very, very lucky. I think the majority of them, with, with the cracking in the path, like I said, are going that way. Or oh, they are yeah. diving down really, really. This guy is super, super lucky. So, yeah. Just waiting now for the go ahead on the council and then we will catch back up. So I was about to film, remember Steve's got his out. So yeah, we had the go ahead. We're happy. So now it is five curbs out. So one, two, three, four, five. Nice vehicle access. He's already got access there. I think we are putting like a gravel hard stand in there for him. If I remember right. And I think once this is done, he's going to agree to the driveway, did you say? Which, Vegan. Yeah, another nice big driveway to do. I don't know where we're going to squeeze it in, but we'll get it done somewhere. Yeah, we'll find a way. So, me and Steve and her, we're going to make this safe, go back and get the curbs, and start. Don't yeah. know if we're to get today, but not now. No. It took way too long. It is half 10 11. Oh, 11 o'clock. You're not going to get time out. Time out, yard so half one, never. But we can make it safe and come back tomorrow. You yeah, are allowed to do that. Got three days on it, so the gear three days. No, we just do them in the day anyway. So because <laughs> the last time I left one open, yep, someone nicked me signs. Yep, you see these guys. Someone nicked all my signs. They nicked to both men at works and both me arrow boards. So we don't like to leave them out. So we don't leave them out no more. I mean, in, in its sons. Hmm. How do you think I've got mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, jokes aside. Yeah, we've got to crack on now. It's 11 o'clock. Let's get these uh, curbs in. Curbs out, curbs in. Made safe. And that'll be a day for us. Mm. That's what we have to do at every stage of the drop crossing for county and we have to send the pictures off to prove we're doing it to their spec which i think is pretty good actually because then it eliminates all these cowboy builders from getting away we're just chucking a drop crossing in for a couple of quid yeah because this costs a lot to get your licenses. Yeah, that's it. The insurance is put in place to be registered in the council. And then you've got like some just general builders just chucking them in here, there, and everywhere. Which in there yeah. isn't me. No, it's not. No. Not, keeps, when, not when we've gone through all the proper channels. No, it keeps professional businesses like ourselves able to do stuff like this. That's what we like. But yeah. So it's uh, waiting for Jordan. Jordan's going to bring the curb that. The yard's only over that way, and he's going to pass this way. So he's going to drop the curbs out. Me and Steve is going to. They had big curbs here. I can remember that time in that summertime when their big curbs were massive. Yeah. And me and you struggling. The same yeah, I can size. actually. Yeah, yeah. They're a foot. They're the size of a gravel ball. One foot and as thick as anything. So I think what we'll do, we'll roll them out, and when Jordan gets here, we'll lift them out with a grab. That's that's. That sounds good to me. Yeah. And he'll just chuck them there, and he'll come back and get them, and then we can put the curbs up. Yeah. So. Happy days. 10 to 12 and we started at 10 past 11. Lovely. Just tried wobbling them out. The big Bertha. Where is she? She's on there, look. And absolutely solid. So what we do in this instance, shall we tell him? Mm -hmm. Giving our trade secrets away, you know what? We'll tell him. We'll tell him. We'll tell him some trade secrets. So yeah, what we do, we drop the steel saw blade in between the curves, which in turn gives it about a three to four mil gap which will give it a bit of wobble and we should be able to kick them out then because all it is is trapped dirt over the years the dirt's trapped i mean that one's dropped anyway so that's gonna be nice and tight and so on but steve's got all the gear and no idea, no idea. <laughs> so we'll drop that and then we'll show you once it's done 
it's all done. See how a little gap there now? So it should. It's got some wobble on it now. Well, a little bit. It'll probably still be tough, but... But if Dad can get down, I can get a wiggle on. Oh, there we go. Smashed in the curve. You don't see that often. Yeah, you exactly good. Yeah, you see the gap? I think Steve's dropping another blade down there. Yeah, let's get it. Very much easier now. Destroying this curve, though. There we go. She's that. Now Jordan should be able to grab that and then just pick them out for us, won't it? Perfect. So, we've got all the gear, haven't we? Might as well use it. Check for Jordan. Much easier using this grab than our backs. Done a cracking job of curbing. Also as well, can you see how all the curbs are like this? See how they're all leaning? So we did it the same. So it all falls in the perfect line. You've got to think about these things guys, because if we used to stand these curbs up straight, oh my god. They'd be, they wouldn't even line up. They look stupid, right? A bit like these over here. Look at this. Obviously, tire catcher look. Not what you want. Of course, your boys and girls at DJ. We make sure that don't happen. But George's here to pick up this, give us some stone, and we can get this nice and safe for tomorrow. And I just let her know. Now it's together, it's a different mode We're getting crazy in a different room Monday, it's Friday morning. Everyone loves a Friday. Where do I get Monday from then? God knows. We are on a drop crossing. Me and Stevie was on a different drop crossing yesterday. That one is still open. I am on the grab today. Jordan's ain't in. These two lads here are smashing this one out. It's a deep one. It is really deep. What it's doing, we are dropping that curb there right up to that one. And next door, we're on a drop crossing now. So we can't do it at the same time because we have to get a permit. So I'm going to go and fetch Tarmac now for this one and the other one. Stevie's going to continue breaking this one out, taking the curbs out, red air. By the time I've got Tarmac, we should have the curbs in. If not, I'm going to give him a hand. So he'll just stick you on the time lapse. I'll nip to the uh, Tarmac yard and go and get Tarmac. Lot of concrete next to these curbs. Look at it. We've already had one grab load. Well, obviously not full, but oh yes, baby. Look at look at the gap forming. It's gonna come out easy, easy. So yeah, you just tap it with Thor's hammer, mate. With this, yeah. Yeah. And then oh look, it's even coming out in one. Wait. So you've been going gym, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three curves at one. I need, so. a, I need a full hammer. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that'll be sound that one, mate, because yeah. then we'll lift them out. So before we hit that one, oh, what, one yeah, back. we'll leave that one for now. What we're going to do, we're going to grab them and we're going to chuck them over there, guys. Yeah. It's all done, guys. 
been slacking with the filming do apologize but the river the river the weather couldn't make its mind up but we'll time lapse the next one but yeah so all done can use a drive obviously but now there's a possibility of next door wanting theirs done so that will include having to take that back out a lot of you may say well why didn't you just continue you can't do that because you need permits you need to apply for the permit could take a week could take five days but we couldn't just rip these out put the the droppers in the 6b5s and then tie my cup to this couldn't do it can't do it guys it makes no sense i know i know what you can say but each house has a permit so we'd have to take that one out do a dropper not a dropper but a, a, a 6b5 all the way over continuing there is what it is oh and i know some of you're going to say oh my god no why didn't we do the tarmac why didn't we do the tarmac there because they've only paid for this and it's definitely not a charity is it and currently they make you do the full footpath where city do now and when they say make you do the full footpath it's not then just coming out of our back pocket it's the customer has to pay so this customer if they go ahead they said they want the tarmac all the way up because i told them about it and then obviously this customer hasn't that's not a problem guys it's whatever the customer wants looks nice now though don't it bear in mind i know it it's because it looks opposites right light dark it does fade over time but yeah and some people don't like to pay for the full load because the council can come along whenever they want and dig a channel all the way through so some people don't want to pay for it knowing that that could happen yeah just thought i'd let you know so here we are guys we are on the next one steve just come in just going to go and get some drinks truck's coming up the road now he's got a roller trailer on and everything else he's here look Nice and smart. So we'll get the roller off and we'll get this tire mapped up. We're getting crazy in a different world. She my do or die, my bona fide. My up and I'm down, she's always beside me. She makes me feel alive, I won't deny. Her love for me is real and kind of suicide. -y. this what is sport ah yeah sport tippings you watch that one i love this game it's a bit windy as well are you under attack but yeah that's still my bae i love the fact i didn't hurt her though she looks 
the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different road I love the fact I didn't let her go She loves the fact that I just let her know Now we're together, it's a different mode We getting crazy in a different road So Stevie and Ant are heading off, they're going to pick the crusher up. Do we need the crusher at the weekend? Ah, little crusher. So this is all completed. So it's a bit of a strange one because this hasn't been topped off. So none of the past been topped off in this section here. And if you see here, look, I don't know if you see it. I've cut the curb away because they're square curbs. So I've cut the curb away because I curved the chamfer. And I've had to put them on an angle as well. So they're on a slight angle. So I've had to match all the way along. If, I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really bad. All the curbs are on a slight angle, look. So in turn, these have to be going at a slight angle. Which has made it a little bit difficult. But if you look down what other people are doing, they're not doing it properly. Look at these guys. They haven't talked. They haven't cut that bit off. So when you rub your tires across here, you're going to bust the tire. Same goes for this one over here, lot. This one's a little bit more drastic than the other one, lot. So I've chamfered that off. I've cut it off. So when someone rubs the tires up against here, they don't catch the nice alloy wheel or cut the tire. So this is what we did, lot. I mean, the tree's made a right mess of this one. But you see how I've chamfered it off, made it nice and smooth. And the same with that one. Little details, you see. But that was the stuff I was showing on the council. So that one's all complete. Stevie's headed off now. I'm going to head back to the yard, go and tip off and sort of wagon out. This is Jordan's wagon. So we're filming back at the yard. And this man here can only mean one thing. There's problems at the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're down the yard and there's problems. That thing there is meant to be on the front of the engine, not on top of the engine. <laughs> so that is, what do you say that is? Foobard. What do you say? Foobard. Foobard, isn't it? Foobard. So yeah. Foobard's down for, We can't see it on this channel, but you can see it on <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> so yeah. Big D's off the road till Monday, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, Monday. Oh, 500 quid's worth. <laughs> oh, he's aggressive. Yeah, yeah, he's aggressive, that one there. He's aggressive. So, it's on top. So, that there, we're having a new one. Chris is going to fit it on Monday. With Birdie. With Birdie. So, we're at a minute down to one wagon. Oh, well, yeah, we've got got big red but it ain't red no more so i think we'll leave you here for this week i hope you enjoyed this episode yeah. well depending on how much footage yeah, there, is, there will be enough there are enough yeah yeah um, there will be enough and that's it then yeah yeah i hope um, you enjoyed if you have drop us a like comment yeah. down below subscribe if you're brand new if you're not consider subscribing because we put a video out every Wednesday and Sunday yeah. at 12 o'clock. We'll see you next one, guys. Woo-woo! Yeah, you will! Woo-woo! <laughs> Good day! Can't wait! <laughs>